All right, so we want to automatically increment the user ID when creating a new customer. This is actually fairly easy to do in the um, Epicor 10 environment. There's a library built in that uh, actually does this for you. So I'm going to launch Epicor entry or customer entry rather, sorry, um, and kind of uh, go from there. So let's uh, go ahead and open up uh, customer entry base. Apologize, I'm working remote right now, so the performance on this box is not that great. All right, so I'm gonna hit new to create a new customer, and I get, uh, you know, an empty customer ID. So what I want to do is I want to automatically get the next customer ID and auto assign it there. So like I said, there's a library built into Epicor that allows you to do this for pretty much anything you want. So it's a very easy thing to do. So I'm going to go to method directive or BPM maintenance, and I'm going to create a new method directive on customer that get new. Customer that get new is the method that gets called when you click that new button to create a new customer. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go to customer. I'm going to search for get new. And I want to get new customer. And I want to do a post-processing directive. The reason for that is on the pre-processing side, we don't yet have a record to work with. On the post-processing side, we will. So I'm going to create a new post-processing directive, and I want to call it auto assign cost ID. All right, I'm going to enable it, and I'm going to go into my designer, and I'm going to go ahead and, and do this. So the first thing I want to do is I want to bring in a reference to my um, next value DLL. The next value DLL is the library that Epicor makes available to generate unique auto sequencing next values. So you want to go to using on references and then go to add assemblies and then search for next value. Now the search here is a little slow sometimes. Um, so just give it a second. Eventually it will populate. You want to select that and hit OK. Then the next little bit is just to assign the value. So I'm going to say set field for my cost ID. And I'm going to set it to a specific expression. The specific expression is a little bit of code that's going to invoke that next value uh, library and then get the next sequence for my cost ID. So I'm going to send new ice.lib that next value db. So I'm instantiating my next value class. And I'm going to say get next sequence. And I'm going to give it a name. The name here doesn't matter. Whatever you give it here will be a unique name for the customer module in this case. And it will be where the value is stored. So I'm going to say uh, cost ID sequence. Right? And I'm going to say I just want that to be it. So by making this simple call, it will automatically, if it doesn't exist, it will automatically create a sequence called cost ID sequence. And it will automatically increment it by one. And if you want to do something like padding, you can pad it out. So maybe I want to pad it out to three zeros or, or four zeros, right? So you can do uh, something like that. So pad it out so that it's not just one, two, three, four. All right, I'm going to check syntax. Syntax is OK. And I want to save. And it's enabled. And I'm going to save it here. So now if I go back to my customer entry screen and I click Get New, I should get um, a new cost ID. Um, All right, sorry about that. I had a, uh, a different customization enabled, but I just uh, turned that off. And now when we go into customer maintenance and click new, we get an automatically incrementing customer ID. So every time I make a new customer, it's going to increment automatically. So one little line of code, a simple BPM. That's all it takes. Hope this helps. Thanks.